Hey there! So I recently bought the swordsmanship of Renaissance Italy and I'd like to give you a very quick review. So in short, it's a great book. If you're studying the Bolognese sources or if you want to get into studying the Bolognese system of fencing, you should definitely buy it. But also if you're studying any other Italian master, it's definitely worth a look. Okay, so in now in more detail, it's a book composed by a committee of the group of Saladami Achille Marozzo, which is actually really large in Italy. And it's, um, the publication was made in a collaboration with the Accademia Nazionale di Scherma, so that's an Italian body. And it's composed actually in a way that reminded me of the Opera Nova of Achille Marozzo himself, with the guards at the very end. And it tries to teach you all the different concepts, the, the blows, the footwork, what tempi means, of the Italian system. And it does so by citing and composing the citations of different authors of Renaissance Italy. They focus mainly on the Bolognese authors. So that's Achille Morozzo, Antonio Manciolino, Giovanni Dalla Gocchia, uh, Vigiani, and of course the Anonimo. But they cite also several other authors like Agrippa, like uh, Di Grassi, and also Fiore de Liberi and Vadi. So there's really a lot to digest here, and there are a lot of insights where you can learn a thing or two. It's structure is actually really nice. So they begin by setting a couple of common terms, then they describe in detail different kinds of footwork, which I especially like, and then they um, talk about blows, defenses, with the sword, with the body, and also feints and some special actions. It focuses on swordplay. So if you're having or if you want to have a look at play with pole arms, which is quite prominent in the Bolognese sources as well, or with sword and shield or anything like that, uh, it's not a part of this manual. So that would be a thing to look out for in the future. The only thing I would like to get more of are like interpretational work, especially on body mechanics. As in my opinion, especially beginners find it hard to um, transfer all these terms in actions. So it would be nice to actually tell them, okay, uh, Mandrito is thrown in this and that way, you have to move this and that body part, you need to turn your body, you need to keep your posture, all this stuff. Okay, but that's really a minor point. I definitely recommend this book as in our time, it's still quite common that translations aren't available in, a, in an electronic format, format. So if you want to search for specific terms to look what they actually mean, you still have to mark it manually in all your translations. And this book can serve you quite well there. So it composes the citations of the, all the different authors on the several techniques. So that's really, really great. Okay, so all in all, a great book. There could be done more. So I personally look forward to more work from them in the future. I hope I'll see you soon in the meantime and you go out there now and enjoy training.